Uh, in an earlier blog, um, I referred back to the problem of um, information um, overload and fragmentation that are faced by individual researchers. But of course, the problem is not just one that's faced by individuals, it's also faced by groups of researchers in areas uh, such as agricultural uh, science. Um, and that's you know, well known um, in the agricultural science community. Uh, just to give you an illustration of, uh, of that, uh, you, people might remember the first global conference on agricultural research for development, which produced quite an influential roadmap. And if I can quote from, uh, from that, that identified the need to transform agriculture, agricultural research for development globally from its current fragmented status to more coherent and cohesive systems for greater impact. And more recently, uh, the Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research has also identified the importance of strategic building a more coherent and integrated portfolio of research. So there's a huge need, therefore, to deal with this problem of fragmentation and to bring um, the research together to make it more coherent and therefore more efficient and more effective. So how are we going to help deal with that and help make that research more successful and more coherent? Well, we want to play our part in that and we've got sort of two ways in which we think we can make a contribution to support the research community. The first way is by developing a, uh, a series of comprehensive reviews of key crops like maize or uh, uh, wheat uh, or on the animal side uh, poultry or eggs or beef. The idea will be to work with a key expert to map the whole subject out and to divide it up into the key topics along the value chain where production you know, either has a block or where it could be um, Im improved in a sustainable way. And then once we've got that framework, then we're going to bring in individual experts who are really know their stuff about each topic. And then each expert will, revive, will write a, a review article summarising all the key research in that area. And the idea will be to create this platform that researchers can use. Instead of having to do it all themselves, they can use the advice of, this, of these leading experts, take them through to the key issues and the key research, which means that they get the overview, they can then focus much more efficiently on the research that really matters to them. So it saves them time, saves them um, potential sort of duplication. So that's one way in which we hope to make the research process that bit more um, efficient uh, and that bit more focused and, and effective. So what's the second way? The second way I think is a quite innovative for publishers, which is we'd like to start to provide services um, for um, uh, our customers using our, our website. So examples of that will include, for example, um, introductory material for those that need it. Um, perhaps more usefully for um, uh, researchers, what we'd also like to do is provide summaries of all the key research organisations all the key research projects that are going on in a subject like maize, for example, and then keep them regularly updated. So there's one place where you can see exactly who's doing what, what research projects uh, are being undertaken and where they are. And that means that you can focus in on where you can contribute to this collaborative process. And because these, these services are going to be quite new for us, we really would like you to get back in touch with us once we've started to get the ball rolling with them and you know, say what works and what more you might like which will allow us to help support you. And the idea is that together, working in partnership with, with you and with key subject experts, we can contribute to making agricultural research that more effective and we can solve the problem of feeding a growing population.